Comcast is going cellular. The cable giant announced that the company is launching a Comcast mobile network by mid-2017. But there's a twist. Comcast's network runs on the Verizon wireless network. You see, it's designed to depend on the 15 million Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots across the nation. And when there's no hotspot, it's going to jump to Verizon's network. Some hotspots are public, such as at the park, but other hotspots are actually customer routers inside people's homes. So Comcast's network is really made of its own customers' routers, with Verizon filling in the spaces between. Now, Comcast CEO Brian Roberts announced the plan at an investor conference, as reported by the Wall Street Journal, but Roberts did not discuss pricing or any other details, such as where it will roll out first. And speaking of mobile, Google is expected to unveil its new phone in two weeks at an October 4th event. Google teased the news in this tweet with a video where the search bar turns into the shape of a phone, a phone that's drawn with a thin line, perhaps a line the width of a pixel? because all reports indicate Google is going to call it a Pixel phone instead of a Nexus. In fact, the blog Android Police posted some leaked images of what could be the new Pixel phones made by HTC. We'll know for sure when the event starts at 9 a.m. Pacific on the 4th. But if you are looking for something more basic, perhaps you're interested in Microsoft's brand new Nokia feature phone. It's the Nokia 216. It's a very basic phone, probably the last Nokia phone to come from Microsoft, since it did sell the Nokia feature phone division to a Foxconn subsidiary. And hey, it has a headphone jack. That's it for this tech news update. I'm Bridget Carey. You can stay on top of the biggest stories at CNET.com slash update.